Hi, welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. I am making a pineapple upside down cake and I'm making it in my iron skillet for Mark's birthday. And I started out, I am melting a whole stick of butter in the bottom of my skillet over pretty, um, probably high heat. And I'm gonna add a cup of brown sugar to it and get it real melty, really glazy. And then we're gonna add our cake mix and pineapples to it and then stick this baby in the oven for 45 minutes. So I'm going to add a cup of brown sugar to this. And then we're just gonna get all this melted in together. You could easily do this in a nine by 13 baking pan and bake it. Um, I think it looks rusty in the skillet. So if you can see, this is melting in together. And we just want to get the butter melted and the uh, brown sugar will dissolve. I'm taking a little bit of this butter and I'm just kind of running it on the side of my skillet. Uh, this way I have greased my skillet. So hopefully when I, if I wanted to turn this cake, if I decide to turn it upside down, it would come out. See how that's melted in together really good? We're going to let it just kind of cook another second or two while I'm getting the cake mixed together. All right, so um, in my bowl, I am, now I'm cheating, but this makes a good cake. And you can buy a Betty Crocker pineapple, uh, pineapple flavored cake. I think it's too pineapple-y that way, so I just get the uh, yellow cake mix. I'm going to put it in my bowl. And I'm watching my, my brown sugar. I don't want it to burn, but it's bubbling. Yeah, I think it can come off the burner. See, it's real bubbly. Okay, now we'll come back to our cake. All right, the cake mix takes one cup of water, uh, three eggs, and a, cup, a half a cup of oil. I'm putting a half a cup of oil in. I'm going to go over to the sink and get me a cup of water. I'm not using my electric beater on this. I'm using my muscles. So before I add the eggs, I want to kind of stir it a little bit. Blend up that cake mix, water and oil together. Now I'm going to add three eggs, one at a time. I'll stir that egg in. We'll put another one in. Stir it until we break the egg up well. See, I can feel that dry mix at the bottom, but it's, it's blending very nicely. And the last egg. And just get this very, very mixed up because you can see that egg white in there. I want to get it all stirred in there. That's looking pretty darn good. Okay, now, what we're gonna do now, this is very hot and ready for the next step. I have a can of Libby's sliced pineapple and I've drained it. I'm gonna take a fork and place my pineapple rings around my skillet. Now, you could use pineapple chunks here if you wanted to, if you didn't have the rings. Um, you probably have to use a couple cans. And I was kind of in a panic. I didn't think I had any maraschino cherries. Uh, when This summer when, De or when Jaden was here, she had worked at Sonic and she was making this cherry limeades like crazy. But I think I may have enough for the cake. Just kind of Make sure you drain it off and try to put a cherry in each pineapple. So all my viewers out there, keep your fingers crossed and see if we have enough cherries to fill the pineapples. And thank you for that. We did. So now that we have that, we're going to pour our well-beaten cake mix over top of our pineapples and cherries. All right, 
Now, it's all in there. I'm going to put it in a 350 oven for about 45 minutes. We are going to take our uh, pineapple upside down cake out of the oven. And I'm going to see, oh, how pretty that is. Let's see if the toothpick comes out clean. Now, I can't cut into it yet because it's very, very hot. Oh, it's nice and soft. And when I do cut into it, come back and join us for a piece. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get brave. Maybe we'll tip it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right. So here's our gorgeous, gorgeous pineapple upside down cake it flipped out so lovely um, I'm not gonna eat it yet I know it tastes good because some of the syrup landed on my finger and I thought it was pretty yummy so just remember to always subscribe like and share our videos to be alerted on Wednesdays when they view on YouTube we have a Facebook page so please join us there on Thursdays for a fun contest or riddle and if you don't have a place to worship please join us at any one of our glad tidings locations in Central Texas five buildings, one church. We would welcome you with open arms and lots of love. Have a good day.